<laughs> hey everybody we are back take a look i got myself i've landed a big one today well a little one but but a little big one right <laughs> i've got monica on the line with me and monica has been okay involved with urine therapy ut for over 20 something years i'll let her confirm over 20 something years yes let that let that sink in for a second she's been a raw foodist for nine years and now she's progressed to become a fruitarian a fruitarian she lives on fruit so let me get this straight. You live on fruit and urine? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and, wait a second, that's not it. You transitioned there. It's like as you moved through your healing process that was calling you and you were following some guided thing from within and i guess knowledge and information came to you as you brought yourself to the alignment and the thought process of healing and following that you evolved and you let go of certain foods and you let go of some dead foods and you went to more live foods and then now you've moved to the highest vibration foods the fruit yes <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it has been a slow, a gradual transition guided by my own body. You've been following your own body. Yeah. Wow. So as you move to things that are more natural, more natural things started to happen and want to happen in your body and in your life. Yes, exactly. The body knows best where to bring you how to bring you there and to me it's not the body actually it is the soul inhabiting the body this is the energy that is actually powering my body all my cells that is nurturing me you know when you say now i am um just living off fruits and urine actually i am discovering that i am living off my own energy, my soul's energy. Yes! <laughs> it's just that I can feel, I can be a much better conduit. My body can be a much better conduit of this energy when I am putting into my body things that are natural, that are not clogging the channels of energy flow. So this energy can flow much more quicker, intensively, much more in, yes. Definitely. Okay, okay, I have a question. Yeah. This is exciting. So, did you say that when you remove things yeah. from your life, that you actually get a more clear, connected contact with the spirit energy that is within you? This is the highest truth that I have found in my own journey, my own adventure of life, of self-discovery. This is the biggest discovery that I have made. Yes. It's not about what I was putting into my body, but what I stopped, stopped putting into my body because the body, I realized, it has, is perfect. The, my life, my being is perfect. It doesn't need anything. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's it. As we come to our truth, we realize the truth that we don't need anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this was for me such an amazing discovery. When yes. I, I had no idea, but yes. my guide me there. Yes. My soul guide me there. The truth guide me there our souls brought us here we are here together i didn't know you you didn't know me <laughs> yes but we're talking together about the same 
thing. Yes. It's a universal truth. Yes. It's a universal truth. Yes. I met you from Lee, who I didn't know, who I met just because I got on the same wavelength as him. And he said to talk to you. <laughs> Why? Because we're all doing the same thing. We're all following the same line. And the line converges because there is only one path. It all comes to the same place. Guys, healing comes from the same place. It is within us. It's love. It's joy. It's freedom. It's peace. And when you align yourself with these principle-centered living characteristics, when you come into alignment with them, healing comes out in your life and you gain knowledge, awareness, energy, and clarity and realize so many other things about your life. You come into harmony with your life. You start to love your life. You start to love yourself truly. This is what the healing is. You become love because this is who you truly are. You are love, you are peace, you are freedom, you are energy, you are all of these things that you wanted so much in your life and you thought you're gonna get it outside of you, but it's actually in you. And it's the key is by removing everything that is blocking this deeper inner connection to you. The journey is within, within, go within and removing all the interferences on the way, all the blockages, all the obstacles in the way. Urine therapy started helping me doing that because it cleansed my body in the quickest, fastest way that I had ever experienced in my life. I tried different diets, macrobiotic and stuff. And urine therapy did the, the, the job so quickly. And then my body started telling me don't put any more of that garbage, other, you know, food that is not of your nature, that is not supposed to be in your body. And so slowly I started transitioning and now I only eat one meal a day. I fast for the most time and it's only, you know, what I ate today was just this. <laughs> and my urine is clear as water when I eat like this, anyone who can who eats like this, urine is the, the rivers of living water that come out of your body, that cleanses your body, allows this energy to flow and for you to, to feel who you are and dive into this ocean of infinite possibilities that you are, the ocean so deep, you are an infinite being of light, of love, of peace, you are that soul, you are divinity itself. That's what we call God, divinity, all possibilities. That is here in each one of us. <laughs> Yay! Brother, sister, mother, Pachumama, <laughs> Earth Mother, <laughs> Son. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Yes. Namaste. It's mm -hmm. all one. It's all the same. We can say whatever we like. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you know what? So many things. So many things. Um, you're in therapy. Twenty. How many? How long? Twenty-one. Going on to okay. twenty-two years. <laughs> okay. We, this is where you started, so this is where we have to start. Um, Monica, what is the problem with urine therapy? What's the problem with urine therapy? The pro problem is only in the brain, in the head, in the mind. Is this preconceived ideas? Is this idea that of waste product, you know? Talking about waste product. Nothing okay. is Okay, where does the problem arise? Where does it come from? Well, it comes from the indoctrination that we have received from uh, babies or from, you know, little childs that uh, urine and, and feces and everything that comes out of our bodies is filthy, is disgusting. And, and 
it also comes from the way we have been eating, putting things into our body that have made our body, you know, being filthy and, and we have started putting garbage. So of course our feces, our urine is gonna stink, it's gonna look, look like disgusting and this is gonna uh, be a proof to, to the people who say it's a waste product, you know? But if we start cleansing our bodies, cleansing our diet, we will realize that no, there's nothing, no waste coming out of us. Our bodies are perfect, miraculous machines. They would never produce something filthy, you know, out of their own self. It's what we put inside that uh, is making it be uh, nasty uh, looking or smelling and tasting. And in the case of urine, it's just really only the, 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 the mainly is the indoctrination that we have received because the, the difference between urine and the feces is that the body you know takes the job of separating these two products so you cannot put them in the same box waste product you know for some reason the, the body has two separate channels to produce them and so this is important that we learn to address, to think for ourselves and not just take and believe what doctors or the medical industry or the pharmaceutical industry or our professor ha have told us. Observe your own body. Why is, does it have two separate channels? And then if you really study by yourself to come to your own conclusions, urine is a product of filtration of the blood, is, is coming from your blood and it, it's, logical that your body in its own wisdom, perfect wisdom, is never going to send to your bloodstream something poisonous, you know. If you eat something poisonous, the body is going to try to as much, you know, um, take care of it before sending it to the blood, to the bloodstream, you know. So, and, and whatever is in your blood is actually giving you life, giving you, it, it's, it's, uh, it, it's good for you, you know. And uh, then urine is blood serum, blood um, ultra filtrate plasma, plasma ultra filtrate. Okay, that's a really big one. That's a really big one. I think you've touched on it right there. There's a misunderstanding. So um, waste is going out the colon, and anything that the body can, that really doesn't want to get rid of, anything toxic, anything the body really doesn't want to have is going out that way. Yes, yes. But anything that is entering, um, you know, into the bloodstream is being carried around. This is important materials for the body. Yes. This is yes. essential stuff. If it's in the blood, it's important. It's gotten in there. So yeah. the, the urine is the filtration of the kidney of the blood. So whatever's in the blood is being filtered out and that's put into the urine. Now, so th that's not really waste. Y you may call it excess. Exactly. It's all excess the materials in the blood, but not necessarily to be considered waste. Yes, exactly. And you know how you understand it, you, anyone can observe that this is not something the body wants to get rid of, that it is an excess and not a waste, is because if you hold your urine long enough in the bladder, the bladder is actually a storage room. You know, why do we have a storage room? Why don't we have a storage room for the feces? We have a storage room only for the urine. Because the body wants to store it, wants to keep it, wants to save it for later use for itself, not to get rid of it. And if you wait, anyone, and sorry, tell me. What happens in the urine if you don't use it? Exactly. What? If, if you don't, I mean, I wanted to say first, if you don't ex exec, uh, uh, expel it, if you hold it long enough in your bladder, Anyone can remember, especially as little children, that all of a sudden you don't need to go to, the, to pee anymore because the body has reabsorbed it. It re gets reabsorbed into your bloodstream. 
So if it was so bad, why would your body take it back? Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I have seen that the cleaner I get my system eating the right stuff, you know, avoiding all the other stuff, then this process of reabsorption starts happening much often and much quickly and easier in me. Really, if I hold my urine long enough, then my body reabsorbs it and I don't need to go to pee anymore. And this happened to me so many times when I was a little kid. I remember, you, you probably remember, little kids have, have a system that is more, more clean and this is why it happens to them very often. They are playing and they, oh, I want to go to pee, but they are, no, 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 I'm going to hold it. I want to finish playing this and then half an hour pass and then all of a sudden they don't need to go to the toilet anymore. <sighs> And then what? We don't even really need to drink water. Yes, and then it's a closed-in self-generate, self-energy device. It's a closed-in circle, and you know this crap, this this circle. You know it it it's it makes the full turn. The looping starts inside of you. Life can become so much more simple. You don't need to drink water anymore. You don't need to eat anything anymore if you really bring your body to that state where it's completely pure completely clean then it's a self-energy device you activate this self-energy device and this is the circle also the the symbol of the ouroboros you know in alchemy this very ancient symbol of the snake making a full circle and putting the mouth in his in its tail it's because it's showing you and people call this the, the symbol of eternal life it's a very sacred alchemical symbol that depicts the secret of eternal life which is activating closing the circle inside of you the the energy doesn't get wasted the snake is drinking its own urine, is consuming itself. It doesn't need to consume anything external. It, it doesn't really, it, it maintains its fluids. It maintains its energy. It, it takes the energy from within. It gets into a cycle with itself. It's sexual energy, it's fluid energy, it's energy, it's self-propelling self itself and then nourishing itself and sustaining itself. And as we take in less from the outside, this system becomes more in tuned and available and powerful and sustaining. And you activate your power because you isolate yourself from all the rest and you become much more powerful in you. It's amazing. I tell you, John, this is the biggest discovery of all time. This is the highest truth. We are infinite, infinitely powerful. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let that sink in. <laughs> wow. This is the same thing that Dr. Arnold Eret was talking about 110 years ago when he wrote his book, After 49 Days of Emptiness, without eating for 49 days and traveling vast distances on bike and on foot without food, he wrote this stuff down in a book. Now. You see, he talked about the fruit and the fasting. He talked about the enema, they're, they're, they're you know, getting rid of the waste. He didn't really talk about the urine in his book. And going further, going further, just one, just one moment, going further, more modern current doctors like Dr. Morse, God bless Dr. Morse, for the wonderful, wonderful things that he's done for me and for so many. Has spoken about the waste that's involved in the urine and because of this, 
there's been a block even within the fruit and raw and live food and vegan communities, a block for moving forward. Like the vegan communities are blocked with protein requirements. Some of them are still stuck there. Some of them are still stuck on, uh, you know, holding on to vitamins and minerals. So they need to have these superfoods. And some of them are, are, some people are, are, are in fruits and some people have transitioned all the way to fluids. Ultimately, where we're going is we're talking about getting into an energy source that's within us. Yes, people are stuck in the, looking at outside. You can get stuck at different points along the way and getting your energy from outside, from coffee, alcohol, or something else material or something else, but you can nourish all from within if you get to the right space. Yeah. But we get hinged on different things along the way and different people get us hinged like Dr. Morse, for instance, God bless Dr. Morse. But a lot of people have gotten hinged on the fact that he says that there's a waste in urine and, it, and it's bad for you and there's nothing valuable there. They're stuck on that thought that blocks them from moving forward. There is, yeah. there is beyond Dr. Morris. He's brought you this far, but you can go further. Yes, yes, because the journey within is much more grandiose. It reveals so much more, much more than anything from external source, be it fruit, be it water, could do to you. It's discovering you, the real treasure is in here, you know, and this is the, the thought that keeps you stuck, that makes you think that I have to look outside for the solution. No, look inside. Outside can be a very good, a, a second best solution, but the real, real treasure is inside. And you know, it's funny when I said that I wanted Oh, it's funny. It, it's, it's really amazing how connected we are because when you started talking about the 45-day uh, fast that um, Arnold Eret did, and after this fast, he wrote the book and, and, and came to this conclusion that we are all powerful. I, at that same moment, I wanted to tell you about my urine fast. <laughs> how I came to this experience of being an infinite power, infinite you know, being, you know, all sustained within me. I was just, I wanted to interrupt you to tell you, and I realized this during a urine fast, and it took me only 14 days on a urine fast. This is to show you how much quickly it can happen when you are just consuming your own urine. How much more powerful is a urine fast compared to a water fast or a fruit fast? It brings you there so much quickly. I don't know how Arnold Erad was, how his body was when he started his 45 days, was it, you said? 49 days. He did many fasts, but he did one 49-day one. One for 49. Okay, he did many fasts. And for me... I was not really healthy when I started this 14 day urine fast. I had done many urine fasts before, but only of a few days, you know? He probably has had done several days, but anyways, I, it's not fair to compare one person to the other. I can only tell you my experience, you know? I know how filthy my body was, how full of toxins it was and blockages. I just want to say that in only 14 days, I know this would have never been possible in 14 days, eating fruits or doing a water fast. And probably if, if I would have ha want to reach the same experience that I reached with this only two weeks of a urine fast with a fruitarian, with a fruit fast or a juice fast or a water fast, I would have probably needed, I don't know, four months or five months or even six months, really, because... Um, what my body got rid of was a tumor. I had a tumor here in my back. I assist that, wow, my body expelled it in only f the first week of my urine fast. I'm telling you, these two weeks urine fast, the first week was detox. And the second week was discovering my infinite being. So it was in one week, actually, that my body got rid of all the filth of 40 years living in this body. I did this urine fast when I was 44 years ago. I am 44 now. 
And I was 40 when I finally could do this long urine fast using, of course, a different practices that I, I'm going to go into detail where you use aged urine to accelerate the detox, the, the, the cleansing of the body, you rub it on your skin. You don't, not just only drinking all your urine, but you also you take the advantage of aged urine, which is much more powerful and you drink it through the, your skin, put, you know, let it, it go into your body through your skin. And I was, you know, rubbing my body for, up to two hours every day. This is very important. And this is why I also got so quickly there. In one week, I got rid of uh, cysts, also tumors in my ovaries, which I had been suffering from for so many years. Very acute, the most horrible pains that I had, menstrual pain. I got rid of allergies. I, wow, the way my body was detoxing the first, that first week was, Crazy, crazy, crazy. I never experienced this in my life. I was like a mucus machine, like mucus was coming out of everywhere, you know. My nose didn't stop running. My headache, I had a terrible headache that only after the yeah, the first seven days were was like, oh, and I was like in hell, really. I was like, when is this ending? But I pushed through because I knew what was going on. I knew that this, this is good, Monica. You have to go through this. There is light at the end of this tunnel. And it was thanks to me pushing through. I don't know how I got the strength to continue that I saw this light at the end of the tunnel. You know, urine brought me there so quickly, the, the urine fast. It was very intense, very painful. It was like hell, but it was worth it because... I reached the other side so quickly and it really, really paid off the, all the struggle. Yeah. It was like going through purgatory to reach heaven. Then this second week of the enlightenment of seeing the light and being the light, and wow, getting more and more every day. It was like oh, the energy started coming back into my body and I was only drinking my urine. I was not doing anything else. I was doing just continue with my urine fast. And I tell you, John, from being bedridden, almost no energy at all because I was detoxing so heavily, I, I couldn't even uh, talk my voice because even for talking, you, you need energy. And my body was using all of its energy to cleanse, 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 detox. And I lost my voice for like three or four days. I was like... <laughs> and I was looking like a corpse, like a cadaver. I was, I lost 10 uh, kilos and I'm already skinny. You know, this is, I, I, I already have always this skinny complexion. So me minus 10 kilos, it was like a skeleton. <laughs> and I was like, uh, like a zombie walking uh, barely on my all fours to the toilet in order to drink my urine, to do the urine enemas, to do the whole body rubs. I hardly had energy just for this and then go back to the, to the bed. And like that I was doing the first day a uh, week. And then all of a sudden the magic that Arnold Eret realized, you know, in, he writes in his book, I realized it in the second week all of a sudden the energy started coming back into my body and I was my voice was not only coming back but I I was becoming a whoa, singer really like a deep voice that I whoa I can sing no obstruction and I felt so happy so happy and it was increasing in intensity do you know John why I stopped my urine fast why I stopped at the day 14 of this urine fast? Because the energy was getting so strong that I couldn't stand it. I got scared. Really. The energy keeps on increasing and it's, your, it's revealing your true self. And not only that, this, this second week where I, you know, I had crossed the dark tunnel and I was into the light and then discovering more and more of this light that I am, this energy, I put on weight, my body recovered the 10 kilos that it lost in only five days, actually, because it was on day nine that all my detox symptoms completely disappeared. And then from day nine till day 14, it was like 
crazy how was happening so quickly once the body is free of all the the the, the blockages wow what this energy can do your own soul is like magic it's like it can happen really in one second i could see my body getting muscle again forming new matter energy turns into matter and I put on 11 kilos in, one, in five days. Not only the 10 kilos that my body had lost, but one more. It was amazing, not doing anything, just continue. My own body, my own energy was doing all that. And this is why I discovered what you said, that Arnold Eric discovered that we are the source of all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the nutrients. We, we are it's our own energy. We don't need anything from outside. If here, if we bring this body to a very pure state, then we see the magic that this energy can do. It creates matter. And I have to stop. I have to stop fasting. I have to put something into my body to, to stop the process because it was getting so intense that on day 14, all of a sudden, I experienced pure light. I exploded into pure light. I, I really merged with God, with divinity. With my, I, I was revealed. My soul showed me what it really is, what I really am. Everything turned into light. And I was just whoa infinite and ah, it's so hard to put to describe this and to put it in words because it was not only what i saw but well, how i felt this infinite bliss infinite sensation of power so much power i felt like i could do anything that i that i was really god that i had to only say something and i would create the whole universe or i would you know i would levitate my body it was so intense and so new that I felt scared. Not I, but my ego felt scared, you know? I realized later that it was my ego saying, no, 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 I don't want to die. Because the ego is the identification with the limited version of you. And when you realize you meet your real you, which is infinite, then your ego dies. I mean, you realize it, it was all a lie. <laughs> And it's nice, it's a nice life to play and to experience, but this is who you are really, is this, you know? So my mind was not really ready to take on this truth in its full splendor. And that's why I, I, I decided to put something into my body and also to experience what, what happens when I put something into my body. And it completely stopped this, this uh, whoo, that was growing, growing, growing because I closed the circle it brings us back being... down to the material. It brings us back down into the, into the physical, right? So as long as we're an eater, as long as we're eating, we can't really grasp these higher things because we're anchored by the material food that we're eating. The food is that material boundary. And when we challenge the material boundary, we move from the material into the spiritual, into the ether, into the air, into the breath into the energy that is the same energy that um, runs through the electrons in your cells that keeps your cellular energy burning all of the time with or without food. And that food is just an illusion of something else that we need to get from outside of ourselves, And because it's been ingrained in ourselves from day one, there's a lot of unlearning that must happen in order for us to detach from it. But detach from it is what we must do. And there's a lot of different ways to do it, but fasting is the way. Whether it's urine fast or water fast or juice fast or fruit fast or meatlessness, all of these are fasts of some kind where we are challenging what we want and what we're craving and what we've learned and we're unlearning it, we're moving beyond it, and we're realizing that we don't need it. It's fasting is what we need to do. And if you're not ready for a urine fast, that's okay. You don't have to judge us because we are. You don't, you don't need to be starting there either, or you may be inclined to do it. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing whenever you get there, and whether you're there or you're not. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing.
But fasting is, is a reality that we need. Fruit fasting, urine fasting, empty fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, meat fasting, raw food fasting. We need to go this way in this direction of aligning with the pranic lifestyle, the chi energy that is within us, the love energy that is available to every single one of us. We don't have to be connected to anyone or understand any name of any certain man or woman. It's an energy that's available to man and woman equally. Exactly. It's who we are, who we truly are. And you come in contact with this this being that you truly are when you give yourself this space, this time of communing with yourself, it, it is through fasting, through stop engaging with the outside world because you want to open up the space to commune with you, only you with you. That's it. So you can stop those sexual fluids, you can stop those nutritional fluids, you can stop fluids, you can stop physical things, you can stop shopping, you can lay in bed, you can turn off the lights. You can be quiet and you can stop speaking. You can be right huddled in as close as you can to be still and be with yourself and heal yourself. Yeah. This allows you to make this energy move without any interference coming in between. Feel this energy, feel your own power. And then you increase it, you, 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 you allow it, you give, you give it space to heal your body, to, to transform your life, to show you who you truly are. To start expressing itself in your life. Yeah. To live, you can continue living this illusion, this beautiful game, this beautiful dream life, you know, you can continue living in this body and having a physical, worldly experience, but Take much more advantage of it. Enjoy it much more in a healthy body, in much more oh, infinite wisdom, in inspiration, divine inspiration that comes from you. You can create much more, much more productively, much quicker. If you are aware of who you truly are, you can still continue living this game you know if life is wonderful it's not about you know stop living here but being much more efficient at it it's living more it's living more completely yes i mean wouldn't you want to have the chance to fly to to activate higher potentials that your body can actually do to, to, to not need to eat so many times and spend so much money every day maybe not even eat at all but always be very energetic and look beautiful rejuvenate forever young not die or just you know oh my goodness leave yeah, all yeah and people and people think it's denial People think that, oh, you have to give up meat or, or you have to give up cooked food or, oh, I get to eat my, my uh, drink my wine or my coffee or eat my crackers and my cheese. Oh, that's so happy. Like, it's so happy. Eat your crackers and your cheese. And you know what? There's so much more joy than coffee, crackers and cheese. Yes. Because ultimately these people, and I was one of them before I was reaching for the coffee, for the wine, to feel more happy, to feel more, to enjoy more. But I realized, oh my God, when I started the year in therapy, this happened to me. I, I started realizing, I started, I said to myself, oh my God, I don't need any drugs. I don't need any alcohol to be the life of the party, to really have a wow and so much energy and so woo, because my urine is much more, you know, bringing me to this oh, happy high state, much more efficient, it's not harming my body. And actually now I'm discovering it's not only, it's not really my urine, it's my own energy. And urine therapy allowed me to be in contact, to really experience and feel my own energy, to be this energy all the time. 
uh, yes, life gets so much more simple. Sim you don't need to reach for the coffee for the other stuff that may be pleasurable during the uh, five, you know, five se man Short minutes. <laughs> yes. Let's go sustainability. Then, Let's talk about sustainability. Let's talk about getting up every single day, putting our feet on the ground and hit the ground running because we're feeling great and fantastic. And that's the way we want to feel all the time. It's not a giving up. It's what am I getting? It's not thinking about what I have to give up in order to get there. Because when I get there, it's going to be so much more and better that I'm not going to care that I gave up that. That's not even a worry or a thought anymore. Don't get stuck on what you're giving up. Jump forward into what you're going to get. Unlimited power. <laughs> and of course, there's going to be a time where it's really tough. You know, it's not all flowers and sunshine. <laughs> it takes a minute to get there. Yes, you got to go through a little bit of hardship to get there. However, it's worth it's so it. Worth Yes, infinite times worth it. It's really, oh, it's the only last burden that you will experience in your life, the only last effort to gain paradise, to gain heaven to get forever. If you really are persistent and don't go back to the bad foods, to the unnatural lifestyle. If you stick in the road, you know, in the path, on the path. Wow. Oh, wow. You know what else we are going to cover? I mean, I mean Monica, I think, I, think, I think we've captured the message. Yeah. But I think there's something else we have to really do just to dot the I's and cross the T's. And that is we just have to talk a little bit about this one thing because um, – you know, people are talking about the waste and, and the negatives of urine. Can you talk about what is good in urine? Yes. I mean, I'm not a scientist. I would love to. Maybe I will do this someday, put up, set up a lab and really tell you with all these scientific words. But to me, it's my experience is what really show me the evidence, all the truth. I don't need to complicate myself with these words and meanings, and, you know. <laughs> Urine, I, I, I believe even science nowadays, if you put a very um, sophisticated laboratory to analyze, there are so many components in urine that science has not even discovered yet put a name on them yet i think it's infinite it's as infinite as your own soul the, 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 the. there's so many things in there there's so many things in there but 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 maybe beyond maybe beyond all of the you know antiseptic antibiotic anti-inflammatory uh amino acids vitamins minerals uh you know all of these positive things that are inside hormones uh b vitamins uh, you know, beyond all of these things that are really in there, there's probably something just energetic. Yes, that's, yes, that's the most important. Thing. And whatever that thing is, who nobody can even tell you what it is, is in there too. Because it's you, it's your essence. Because it's you. It's you. You are in the cup. Yeah, you know what? I also realized through this experience of enlightenment that I went through, to, to, through my daily experience, urine is the water that runs through the body, right? And you know, water picks up energy, vibration. The, the urine contains the vibration of the container, of, of the <sighs> container that holds it. Your intention is in there. Your yes. intention, your essence is in the jar. Your soul. Yes. Your That's soul what's there. Me. If you throw it away, you're throwing you away. You're yeah. throwing your essence away. Yes. That's your choice. 
You can take it yes. if you like, but that's what you're doing daily. Yeah. Throwing yes. it away. Throwing it yes. away every day. And taking some pills or potions and something to make you feel better and, and think something's better or get something to get you better. It's wrong. The paradigm is wrong. We need to get a paradigm of sustainability, being able to withstand my life from within myself. Exactly. Exactly. This is an important message, Monica. I'm so glad that Lee from Disease to Ease and my partner on the Apple Diet, uh, we've come together. I've met him. He's introduced me to you. And, uh, you know, I'm, we're on a mission to, to help people change their lives and get healthy. Um, you know, we're going to try to do something in September where we're going to try to round up as many people as possible to do like a six-week um, body, nutrition, raw food, fasting, healing, urine therapy, if you want, whatever you want to do with us, heal your body and mind, jump in, let's all do it together in September, let's go 30 days, let's do 42 days, we're planning this with the apple diet, with disease to ease, Lee's involved, uh, we'd love to get your support on it, uh, I would love to speak with you again. I'd love to connect with you more on Facebook. I, I love your message. I love your energy. I feel like you're going the same place that we are. So I, I just really want to be more and learn more about you. I want to learn more. I want to talk more about those, those urine rubs. I want to talk about the urine enema. I, wanna, I, wanna, I want my, my community to find out about this stuff. So maybe we'll get, get you to talk about these things some more too. I'm going to end our conversation today because I have to get to my next thing on my schedule, but I'm so glad that we got to connect. You know, I'm thinking we need to do a retreat. We need to do something where people are getting together with us and learning and growing. It would be a pleasure, John. I love your energy. We are totally on the same wavelength. It would be Oh, enjoy. It. <laughs> oh, so nice. So nice to speak with you. Thank you so much, John. Thank you to everyone. And let's uh, continue with this. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Monica. We'll talk again, okay? Okay. Have a wonderful rest of the day.